In this demo, we're going to take a look at using KAgent to perform some AI reliability engineering tasks. You can see here we have our service that's up and running, and this service calls, uh, the front end service calls other, other services, and you can see that um, the call path, everything looks fine right now. These applications are deployed in Kubernetes. You can see the, the, the front end calls the three back ends, uh, various calls to databases. And these applications are deployed in Kubernetes using Argo CD. Now, let's take a look at what happens if we break our environment so we're going to we're going to check in a commit to our project here we can see this is the code if we refresh we should see a uh, uh, some changes to the environment don't worry about it um, everything should work fine um, and now if we refresh we should see that things are out of sync because our breaking change was just checked in let's go ahead and sync that to the cluster and now if we come back to our fake service and refresh we can see that the front end when it calls back in v1 there's a failure now Right? And so we don't know what this is. If we were just to go check the commit logs, it looks like, oh, we just made some, some harmless changes, no problem. So now we have an issue. So why don't we come over to our K-Agent environment and we're gonna click into this agent that is a GitOps and Argo CD based Kubernetes platform agent. Click into that and we can see this has access to some tools in our Kubernetes cluster, including some related to Git for potential GitOps operations, because we don't want to make changes live on our cluster. So we're going to come in here and tell it, hey, when we call the front end service, that we're getting errors. And let's see if the, uh, the agent is smart enough to understand, first of all, what that means and, uh, and help us remedy that. So we'll send that uh, off to our agent and it's telling us then that it's going to check the status of the various pods and deployments and validate the service definitions and check connectivity. Uh, we'll, we'll let it do its thing here for a second and then we'll, uh, we'll dig into what, uh, what, what it might be trying to do. So it looks like it's reviewing labels. Uh, all right, hold on. We'll we'll let this do its thing here. Let's see. All right, let's come let's come back. So first of all, we can see it made a few tool calls to get an idea of what's happening in the environment. It um, checked for various pod labels and selectors. Uh, it did find something. It says the back end v1 service spec is incorrect. The target port should be 8080 to match the pod containers, but it is currently sent to 81. This can cause the endpoint not. All right. So now what we could do is verify the backend v1 services. We could fix this. All right. So if that's the case, if we agree, then um, let's get the backend v1 service YAML, then implement the fix using GitOps approach by uh, creating this in the uh, in the GitOps repo. So yeah, that all looks good. Um, let us go ahead and see. It's going to ask us for the GitHub repo URL. See if it, let's see if it can grab it from the Argo CD applications. Um, from the application CR in the Argo CD namespace. All right, so we'll get those resources, take a look, closer look at it. Uh, let me see what it's uh, what it's able to do. All right, all right. So let's see what it does. Let's see what it says. 
initial assessment, the back of your uh, uh, yep. All right, so I did find the correct GitHub repo, search the repo, and did find the backend v1 file describing this service and deployment. The service section of the backend v1 uh, matches this incorrect setting. So what we want to do is create a new Git branch, uh, edit the file, and eventually create a pull request. So uh, yes, let's let's do that. And we'll send KAgent off to uh, create the pull request to fix the issue that uh, we're having here in production. So we don't want to edit things directly on the Kubernetes cluster. What we want to do is um, send in a pull request, which then can be evaluated by a human. Or you may have other tools to help you with, with uh, 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 Pull, pull request analysis and so on. Uh, base branch name head is invalid. Retrieve the actual default branch name of the repository and try again. Okay, so it looks like there might have been some confusion about what the branch name is. Should be called main. Let's see if the agent can figure that out. We'll give it a second. Syncing. It's either thinking or it's getting rate limited. Uh, by either GitHub or OpenAI. Let's see, what is it calling? I think so. All right, so it did create a branch. Uh, to fix that, a pull request has been opened. Uh, so now let's uh, take a look at the pull request. So it looks like it may have done this, and it looks like it did. We have a new branch. Click on the branches. This is the branch that was just opened. Um, we see the one commit, and it has created the, the fix for our, uh, our service here. All right, so let's come back here, and let's uh, go ahead and merge the... We'll merge the pull request here. Uh, we'll merge it. Great. So now we had our review. We had our merge. And um, from here, we can take a look at Argo CD and refresh. Argo CD, you should notice that we are out of sync correctly. Let's sync it then. And now we come back to our service. And if we refresh and cross our fingers, we should see that the service is now behaving correctly. So you call it back to uh, back in V1 and, and it works fine. Uh, so here we saw our K agent help us debug and walk through a issue in our services. And it gave us suggestions and walked us down the right path and eventually created a pull request for us on our uh, on our Git repo. So I encourage you to go and check out kagent.dev uh, for building agentic AI for uh, AI reliability engineering. And uh, check out the community. We have events. We have our, our weekly meeting and weekly live streams. Um, and go, you know, get involved. Join, join our chat. Join a uh, uh, create issues or start using it on uh, on GitHub. But thanks for joining.